Most business gurus will tell you that in order to see success in business, you need to quit your job, quit being a slave, and you gotta escape the matrix. <laughs> but believe it or not, there's people out there that actually enjoy their job. And there's actually a lot of those people. And if that's you, then the good news is, is that the side hustle I'm about to tell you about in this video, you can start alongside your nine to five or your day job with as little as 10 to 15 hours per week. And in this video, I'm gonna explain to you what exactly that side hustle is and how you can leverage it to make an additional one, two, three, even up to $10,000 plus per month alongside your day job. So let's get into it. So the side hustle is called a remote house cleaning business. All it is, is a normal house cleaning business, except you run it completely remotely from anywhere in the world. And you might be wondering, well, how the hell do I run a house cleaning business remotely, let alone run a house cleaning business remotely and still keep my day job? The secret is, is to hire independent contractors and cleaners who already have the training and equipment necessary to complete the cleaning jobs for you, the business owner. And there's almost a million cleaners that are ready to take jobs to go clean houses for you if this is something that you want to do. The reason we like to use contractors instead of employees is because when you hire employees, you have to give them all the equipment, you have to spend time training them, and you have to pay for things like broken equipment, if they break something, if they lose something, and the gas, and even the vehicles they're gonna be using to drive to and from these jobs. So using contractors saves you a lot of time and you don't have to spend a lot of time training. And all you have to do is set up the right marketing channels and systems to be able to get the leads, close the leads, and book them for these cleaners. It still leaves the question though, how do I run this alongside my nine to five? It sounds like a lot. And at the beginning, it's gonna require about 10 to 15 hours of upfront work for you to set up all the systems and the software, to hire the cleaners, to set up your marketing, and then start taking the sales calls and booking the jobs. However, you don't have to do the cleaning, right? So that's already taken care of. And number two is you actually don't have to take the phone calls either. And the way you do this is by hiring an overseas employee. We like to hire from the Philippines and Pakistan because we can arbitrage the US dollar in whatever their local currency is. So for example, I can pay a Filipino virtual assistant or overseas employee four, five, six, maybe $7 an hour, which is a lot less than you'd pay someone normally here, yet they can do the job just as well. And so you as the business owner are gonna be able to release all the day-to-day -day duties of answering the phone calls, dealing with customer complaints, eventually even hiring and onboarding the cleaners. You can get your virtual assistants to do that for you too. And so you take care of both ends of the business. You take care of hiring and staffing the cleaners and you take care of the sales and the booking of the jobs and the phone calls you're gonna get as a cleaning business. And once this is set up, even if you have a day job, you have the cleaners cleaning for you and you have your phone calls being answered, which means all you have to do is sit back, make sure that your team is doing what they need to do and run the business through your team that you've already hired and maybe turn some dials on the marketing. This is the same business model that people like Skylar Sullivan, who does upwards of $70,000 a month in Omaha, Nebraska, while he sells lawnmowers as his day job. That's what he does. He sells lawnmowers and he has this business on the side that kicks off $70,000 a month in revenue with about 15 to $25,000 a month in profit. Or like Gordon Lancaster, who has a day job. I can't say what because it's a little secret, but his business does $40,000 plus per month while he profits upwards of 10 grand per month, even employing his sister-in-law. And I've found this to be by far the best business you can run with a full-time job because even in my experience, I haven't had a full-time job since I was 19 years old, but we built this same business while we were in college while taking full-time credits. I was taking 15 to 18 units in college while we built this business. And we got this business to upwards of $65,000 a month before I even went full-time and I graduated. And a big reason this works so well, especially for people who have full-time commitments, whether it be college, a day job, whatever that might be, is because you employ one of the four forms of leverage. Naval Ravikant talks about the four forms of leverage in business. You have labor, you have code, you have capital, and you have an audience. This business model takes advantage of labor, which to this day, of all the stuff that I see these gurus pushing, nobody starts with a form of leverage at the beginning. A lot of it is trading your time for money. This business, you employ the leverage of labor, and you do this by hiring those cleaners and hiring those virtual assistants. By doing this, you learn the core components of business and the core skills you need and to go off and either continue scaling your cleaning company if that's what you choose to do so, there's very big cleaning companies out there, or two, go and start another business in a better opportunity vehicle. And those core components of business are hiring, because you're gonna have to hire the virtual assistants and the cleaners, 
delegation and leadership because you're still gonna have to delegate a lot of stuff to your virtual assistant and your cleaners. Marketing, because you have to generate leads inside your cleaning business. And sales, you're gonna have to learn how to close those leads at a repeatable rate and also train your team to close at the same rate. And the fifth one is operations. You're gonna have to learn how to set up the system and systematize the business so that you can still focus on your day job while the business still runs in the background. And if you can learn those five things, those are applicable to any industry, any business. I don't care what business you end up going into. Nobody's gonna be able to take those skills away from you, regardless of how big your cleaning business gets. But at the same time, it's not all sunshines and rainbows. This does take work. This does take a little bit of effort. And some things to look out for when you're launching this business alongside your day job is going to be the phone calls that come in. So if you're in a job where you're in meetings all day, you might have a problem with answering the phone calls. And I typically don't recommend to hire the virtual assistant to answer the calls right away, but it is something you can do off the get-go. We have had people do that inside Home Service Academy and see lots of success, but it can be a little challenging because I would like you to learn the skill of sales first and actually close a couple deals before passing that off and training the virtual assistant because it's always easier to train and lead someone when you actually know what you're talking about. And another thing is hiring the cleaners. This can be a pain in the ass because you're dealing with cleaners. And when you go through this hiring and vetting process to get cleaners into your business, you're gonna have to sift through a lot of stuff before you find the gems. I'm a big fan of the 80-20 rule where you just go into it assuming that 80% of your applicants are gonna suck and 20% will be good. Your job is to find that 20% and continuously screen until you find the cleaners you can trust inside your customer's homes. But a large part of this is all of the upfront stuff, right? Going back to the 10 to 15 hours I said, that first 10 to 15 hours a week is gonna be a lot of the setup. But once you get your first cleaners, you get your virtual assistant trained after a few weeks, a lot of this stuff goes away. So as long as you can get through the boring and the kind of grueling part of this, you're off to the races. So if this is something you're actually considering launching, don't feel defeated when this startup process takes a little bit longer than expected, or maybe you go past the 10 to 15 hours, you might take 17 hours a week, 20 hours a week. The time commitment starts to drop off the more leverage you put in place, going back to what I was talking about. And if this is something you wanna know how to start completely for free, we have this new free group where we put out a bunch of tips, some free courses in there, some free training videos on all the basics that you need to know to get one of these businesses up and running off the ground. Again, completely for free. Links in the bio for that group. And if you want a free step-by-step -step guide in detail how to do it, check out the videos on our channel. So if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Hope you got some value. If you did, share this video with a friend, hit like, hit subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Let's stop laughing, okay. <clears throat> Bro <laughs> 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 said a bowling shirt, bro. I gotta go change now. A bowling shirt. Hey, come on, bro. This is a bowling shirt, bro. I'm about to bowl.